there is outrage tonight over the actions of the owners of a Chinese restaurant that bars admission to non-Chinese clientele from 7 p.m. Kenyans on social media cannot believe that it is possible to face this kind of discrimination in their own country. KTN's Ian Ofula is at this restaurant right now and we join him live for the insight. Ian, this story has generated a lot of reactions, especially on social media. What have you picked out from the ground? Good afternoon, Ben and Linda. Indeed, we are uh, coming to you live from the Chinese restaurant here in uh, Nairobi, where there's a lot of speculation going on. And at this point, we cannot confirm everything. But a number of things that I can tell you that I've managed to gather from this particular point is that um, uh, the owner of this restaurant was today issued with a court order uh, st stating that they are operating without a license. And so when we managed to talk to the manager of the restaurant, they said that indeed they do not have a license to operate here but they are planning to uh, open the restaurant officially on the 1st of April but then what we were able to also find out is that guests have been coming here to uh, to the hotel for you know uh, business has been going on as usual but on confronting the manager they said that they have been giving free food to their friends which we found rather uh, uh, far, rather not straightforward. Another thing that I can also confirm to you is that the management said that they took over this restaurant from a previous uh, previous owner and so that is why they're still trying to get more time to get uh, some of the official documents for them to operate. And then when it comes to the very issue that has raised a lot of concern that is the admission of um, Africans or, or black people to this particular facility. Uh, two press releases had been released uh, in regards to this by the management. The first one was uh, saying that they reached this decision after there was a robbery last year when a known gunman, uh, African men, uh, stormed the hotel and stole around 600,000 and this threatened their business. They also confirmed through, through their press release that um, this restaurant only admits, uh, mostly admits uh, Chinese uh, lo uh, Chinese nationals who come here uh, and uh, the hotel is able to facilitate their travel across the country and to uh, certain tourism destination areas and so the 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 the, the the clients here are the Chinese, uh, the clients who sleep at this particular facility are only Chinese and that is why when it gets to around 5 p.m. they, they do not uh, admit other people. Well, Linda and Ben, with me right now, I'm joined by Ezekiel Onyango who used to work here and I just had a few, I had a few moments to chat with him and he, ha he brings in a rather different perspective. He confirms to us certain things that, you know, uh, took place here. Ezekiel Abariako. Uh, unaweza kutuambia hii mambo ya ku, kuambia wa Afrika wasiingie hapa ni kweli na pia unaweza ongezea nini nyingine kuhusu jambo hiyo Hii mambo ni kweli kwa sababu wa Afrika wamekuwa wamekuwa kitutua vibaya na wamekuwa wamekuwa stopped no not to enter in, in the restaurant and the other thing is that the 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 the, the payment of the workers has been too down and, uh, and and you see these people per, per week they normally get more than 20 million profit because there are many clients who normally enter in the hotel in the restaurant so 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 this this big 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 problem many many problem has been happening in this restaurant there's uh, sorry to interrupt but you had also told me a very interesting point about a couple a couple who came to be attended to here what can you tell the viewers about this a particular incident yeah when at okay the workers okay the the clients who normally come may maybe 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 2 p.m are normally stopped not to enter in the in the restaurant but you see when chinese people when chinese uh, chinese people enter in the restaurant they normally allowed to enter this they normally mistreat the africans which is not fair other people other people are being chased to go out of the of the restaurants and and to us and and to work us okay i used to work here in something which which i i have been i have went through you 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 will feel pity to a to a customer eh? a customer 
maybe maybe they have they have come uh, they, maybe they have come to uh, to enjoy themselves but at, at at the end at the end it's sorrow so so these people should change actually they should change yeah thank you ben and linda what you're hearing there is um a uh, let me call it a testimony by one of uh, the workers who used to work here. His name is Ezekiel, confirming to us that indeed some of this uh, mistreatment of the Africans was indeed happening. Remember, as at this point, we cannot confirm as to whether this is true, but we are just basing this on the interview we've just had with Ezekiel. Back to you, Linda and Ben in studio. Ian Fuller, thank you so much, Ian, of course, covering that story that has uh, gotten the attention of Kenyans, especially on social media, that Chinese restaurant that does not admit Africans after 5 p.m.